Hello, this is a video tutorial demonstrating how to place beads, rather like this rather nice one here, onto your knitting in the same manner that I have used in my disclosure cowl pattern. So unlike a lot of knitted beaded fabric, uh, this is big, big chunky beads on big, big chunky wool. And as you can see, the beads themselves sit upright around an entire stitch not over half of it. They're really, really symmetrical. And because of the way this technique is executed, there's this little bar of yarn that goes across the back of the bead, holding it to the front of the fabric. And that's really important for how the beads will sit. So they will always be exactly where you want them. This is not a pre-threaded method. This is uh, using a crochet hook. Um, to thread your beads as and when you want to place them. So I'll show you how it's done. What I'm doing here is putting uh, these beads, these little wooden beads, onto this swatch that I've got ready for you here using this. This is a very small crochet hook. This is 2.5 millimeters. It's upside down, you can see it there. Uh, the stipulation is that the holes in your beads need to be large enough for the hook to go through, but also large enough to have double the thickness of your yarn. So whatever your yarn is, that needs to be able to be doubled over and fit through the size of the hole there with the crochet hook as well. If you can manage that, then this bead will do very, very nicely. So I'm just going to knit across this swatch until I get to the point where I want to place my bead. And I'll join you in a sec. So here we are. This is the stitch I'm going to place my bead onto. And how is it done? Well, I can let go of my working yarn for now. I don't need it for this part of the process. I'm going to take my crochet hook and skewer the bead that I want to use onto it and just let it slide down onto my fingers. Obviously hold it there, otherwise it will just fall off the end, which we don't want. So there we go. I've got the hook loaded with the bead. And now what I need to do is slip, purlwise, slip that stitch onto the crochet hook. Let's get that needle out of the way so you can see what's going on. So I've got the bead waiting here and I've got the stitch there. Now, using the crochet hook, I can just pull the stitch all the way through the bead. That's that's the job done, essentially. The last thing, and I tend to find it's easier if I push the crochet hook to the far end because I'm going to slip that stitch just again purlwise onto from the crochet hook onto the right hand needle. Now you'll notice that this stitch hasn't been worked. I have not knitted into this stitch. All I've done is slip it from this needle onto the crochet hook, through the bead, and onto this needle. The reason for that is I want to have this slipped, elongated stitch here, because the bead is so large, I want to give it space to sit where I want it to sit. The other reason that I'm slipping it is because when you slip a stitch, oops, it's just come off there, let's pop that back on the needle. When you slip a stitch and then work into the next stitch, what happens, and it's a bit difficult to get this, angle on camera, what happens is that the working yarn, instead of going into every stitch, of course, it goes across the back of the stitch that you've slipped there, and it creates this little float. And that float there is what acts as a bit of a gatekeeper. And if you just pull everything nice and snug there, that will push the bead to the front of your fabric, and it will stay there. That's never going to work its way through to the back. Can you see there, there is a little bit of a hole there, but that bar across the top, let's turn it over Poppy for you so you can see it. A little bit of a hole there, but that bar is going to keep that stitch in place. And that's what we want. It's going across the centre of the bead there, pushing it to the front of the fabric. Then you can just continue knitting as you go. It's worth pointing out that with beads this size, it can be quite tricky once you've slipped it onto the right hand needle to work that next stitch. I find working it very, very loosely and not worrying about tension is a good thing. Then when you've got it safely nestled in onto the right needle next to the beaded stitch, you can give a tug on the working yarn and snug everything up nicely. Just bear in mind as well, working on the next row, coming back to the stitch, it's going to feel a little bit awkward because the bead is taking up quite a lot of the slack. Um, but once you get past that, you're good to go. So there you have it. All you need to do is you load the bead onto your crochet hook, slip the next stitch onto the crochet hook, slide it through the bead and put it onto the right needle 
and away you go. The slipping of the stitch is what creates the anchor to keep the bead in the front. And you can see that the bead sits very nice and upright, very nice and symmetrically right in the center of your stitch, exactly where you want it. And that is how I place a bead.